Hello everyone, my name is Claudia and this is the fifth vi tutorial video for the subject Flexible Digital Urban Modeling. Today we are going to explore how to do a displacement map in a gravel surface. So just to show you what we are talking about, this is the gravel city and here we have in this moment a map which is giving a... Um, a specific shape in our gravel so <coughs> to do that we are going to open a 3d max file so the first step is to draw a plane here you can change the segments 20 per 20 it's, it's okay so now we are going to apply the gravel modifier here it is so and then we are going to set the minimum and maximum so probably minimum something like that so we'll be fine now we have to turn on the generate okay so this will be our city uh, the the displacement map uh, it's useful to when you want to apply sort of height control in, in an area because you can draw the control and then just introduce the map and cut the, the shape. So to do that we have to draw a, a new plane over our shape. So I will put it here, move it up. Just to check what is there. Okay, so now we are going to open material editor. Here we are creating a new material with, with our um, displacement image. So first we are going to maps here and in diffuse color we are going to choose bitmap and a picture uh, the picture that you you want to display so in this case I want to create um, a sort of hill in the in the surface of my gravel so I would choose this one with white in the border and black in the center open and then we are going to apply this material, this picture to our plane. To to see the the picture, you need to click on this icon in the material editor, the show shaded material in viewport. So now it's okay. And what we are going to do now it's applying to this plane a uh, modifier and then UPW map and then we are going to apply this place and to complete this process here in the parameters of the display modifier we are going to open the material editor and we are going back to the fold and here we have the map that it's showing our um, screen so we are dropping this one into map here instant is okay so now this map will be able to do the displacement so now here in a string we are creating the displacement so the black part is fixed in where we put the plane but the white part is going down where we want so in this case I will put something like this to show you and now you also are able to go to the blend basic parameters and modify the opacity of our map just to show what is happening inside 
So now what we are going to do is to cut the gravel elements over the, the displacement map. Now this, the next step is to select this the top of our gravel element to be cut for the displacement map. So click on the gravel element, modify, and then going down in parameters, select tops. So now we are going to space warp, geometric deformable, confirm. We are going to draw a sort of arrow in our screen, then pick up object and we are click on the displacement map. Okay, so here you can see that the object is the point zero zero two. And then we are going to our main toolbar and clicking bend and we are going to draw a line connecting this shape with the gravel element. So now you can see that our displacement map it's completely cut in the element. Just to finish this part you can put zero opacity to this element so you can see the gravel surface. Also here, if I remove this, it's easier to see what we did.